resurrection. The death of Jesus, it was foretold by those ancient prophets of old. They told of his death, with his life he would pay. They also told he would arise the third day. Over 2,000 years ago, those prophecies came true. The words in the Bible, from the pages they flew. Separation from his Father was how it had to be. But that's what Jesus did when he set us free. He was nailed to the cross, a cruel death to die. He gave up his spirit. It is finished, was his cry. Then darkness it came. An earthquake as well. The curtain was torn, there was no longer a veil. They took down his body for a tomb it to lay, then rolled over the front a big stone was to stay. How hard it must have been for Jesus to know that separation from his father was the only way to go. That complete separation between father and son, it was the only way that our lives would be one. For three long days, his body lay in that tomb. Then the woman returned to prepare with perfume. But when they arrived, the stone it had moved. The grave clothes still there, but the body removed. For Jesus had risen, resurrected from the grave. He walked with the disciples and instructions he gave. For 40 more days he walked and he shared of the kingdom of God, how our lives had been spared. So when we feel separated from our Father above, remember Jesus' sacrifice made for us in love. For death could not hold him, though he was bound by our sin. He gave all of himself so our lives could begin.